right, we're here live at the Healthcare Marketing Physician Strategy Summit, or HMPS, recording live from the Expo Hall. So don't mind all the background noise, Alan. And I'm here with Alan Chubridge. Yeah, thanks, Chris. It's exciting. There's so much energy here right now. You know, first day of the conference. It's great. It's great to see this. Yeah, it really is. It really is. And, you know, I think that when you look around, like all this energy, it's palpable, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. But before we get into our conversations today, Share a little bit about yourself with people maybe Sure, uh, Alan Shibridge, I'm the Associate Vice President of, of National Communications at Providence. And if people don't know, Providence is a seven state healthcare system, on the, mostly on the West Coast. We have 51 hospitals and you know, I've been in marketing and communications for you know, longer than I want to admit, but uh, I love it. And you know, it's exciting to, to see all the people I know here and talking about what we do. Yeah, I think it's great to be here too. I mean, there's a lot of good energy and we're, we're early on in the conference. A lot of great topics ready to be talked about. What what are some of your observations? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? Yeah, well, you know, obviously, like I think AI is a big topic for everyone. You know, we I kind of looked at the agenda and you know, nearly a dozen topics that have that. And you know, I I feel like it's exciting because we're getting to see it drive change for our patients and our providers and our caregivers, but we're also getting to use it. So it's one of those things that I think has a nice intersection of it's not just about the people we support, it's about us too. So right. that's a big topic, but I think always what we're hearing a lot of people talk about is, you know, how can I be smarter at what I do, more strategic, maximize my time. So that desire is kind of intersecting with what AI can do, and there's just a lot of energy around both those things. Right, I, well, and I think that's it's so true, right? That we're, it's, it's a tool that actually can make us more productive, can make our, our consumers' experiences that much better, can help our employees, can right. so many applications in this tool. And you and I had the chance to do actually a, a pre-conference workshop this morning about AI. So share a little bit about some of the high level things that we talked about. Yeah, well I feel like there was a good cross section of people in there, some who are just starting to experiment with this, either personally or at their organizations, others that are a little further on their journey. But this is, you know, kind of so new in terms of application of how we're using it in our workflows that there's just a lot to be talked about. And then, you know, what are some of the things we need to look out for in terms of guardrails and governance? Yeah. What's happening with regulation? So we really covered, I think, a pretty broad spectrum and, you know, reflected an audience that's in different places on this journey. Yeah, and what's interesting about that too is we kind of ended that conversation with uh, a desire by everybody in the audience to continue on the conversation. So I think that's something that's kind of be looking forward. We're going to start to build a coalition around how AI is being applied across our segment of the industry, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to be informed and engaged in this. I think this is not something that, you know, as a marketer, communicator, you're going to be able to sit it out and be like, well, I'll wait another year and see what happens. Like, you need to be invested in some level in figuring this out. And then, you know, again, I see it as a, a personal application and also at your organization. So mm -hmm. you need to understand what your organization is doing. You need to probably have a voice in that, especially if you're at the leadership level. It's not something, again, that you know, marketers and communicators should just sit on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. The best way is to be informed about what's going on, and the best way to do that is to get involved in the discussions and the application, and you know, be engaged. It's, in, yeah. it's really important. And it's on the it's the early stages too, right? Yeah. We got to sure. keep reminding that every time we. Yeah. This you're right. So many sessions are talking about AI, but they're really at the early onset. Even in some clinical and operational aspects, they're at the early onset of adopting these tools and measuring success, we keep hearing about measuring success. It's like, it's too early to kind of measure, ultimately, I, right? Yeah, there was a great question that came up. Someone asked the audience, you know, how are we measuring whether this is, you know, working or worth the investment? And I said, well, a, a number of these things, you know, they're only three months old, six months old, so yeah. we're still looking. But we are hearing, you know, reports of how it's helping ease the workforce, makes the patient experience better. So all the signs are pointing in the right direction. And some of these things, again, are more mature than others, and we are getting some, I think, a little bit harder data, but you know, we're really early on. So again, all the signs are positive, and I think we're going to be driving to thinking about you know, ROI and measurement more. But a lot of it, too, and you know, our uh, chief information officer was talking about this at Providence, some of the ROI is going to be measured in decreased burnout, yeah. you know, satisfaction with your work. Those things are not the traditional, like, how much revenue did this drive? But they're really vitally important. So. I think how we measure it is going to be different too. Right, I, such a good point, right? And it's, it, it, it's so transformative. And I think that's one thing I like about coming to conferences is learning about these new transformative things that are happening and the way people are approaching them, right? Um, so, you know, I, th I think that's the benefit of being at the Healthcare Marketing Physician Strategy Summit, yeah. don't you think? Absolutely, I mean, 
you know, conferences, you get out of it what you put in. Yeah. And I think the people who get the most out of it, go to the sessions, be engaged, uh, be in the moment, network with people. So if you hear someone doing something interesting, connect with that person, have some conversation. So, you know, again, I sometimes I hear people come to any conference and they'll say, oh, I didn't really like it that much. Well, how much did you put in? How much did you give toward it? Mm -hmm. And so if you're just thinking you're gonna you know, show up and maybe hit a few sessions here or there, not right. really quit that, you, you have to put a little effort into it uh, to really digest what's going on. So, you know, if you do that, I think you get a lot of, I think you get a tremendous amount of value out of these kind of things. Well, you, of all people, do a really good job about amplifying what you're doing and how you're learning. And, you know, when people follow you on LinkedIn and you, you, you give regular updates, I think you're going to be doing, what, a daily blog yeah. post about what's happening here. This yeah. really is reflective of, of how much you really feel the value of, of getting together in person, right? I feel like, yeah, absolutely. I feel like any conference, you should be thinking about your sort of pre-strategy, pre your strategy when you're there and what you do afterward. And so, you know, I'd like to think about in advance, you know, connecting with people. Who do you want to talk to? What sessions do you want to go to? Giving that some thought. When you're at the conference, really engaging in the conference, like the app, whatever's happening on social media, making the right connections, thinking who you want to follow up with after. And then after the fact, you know, I, I feel like, especially as leaders, what did you learn during the conference? And if it just stays with you, um, that's a miss. So taking things back to your team, yeah. sharing the highlights, what do you implement? You know, I've already got a few ideas of things that, you know, we're doing, but someone else is doing a little bit different in a way that I think we should explore. So, you know, you ought to come to something like this and have a lot of things to follow up with. And if you don't, I think you need to look at your experience and think like, how could I do that in the future? Right, right. Okay, so Alan, I'm going to ask you a hard question here. Yeah. Imagine there's a crystal ball here in front of us. This year, we know they're hot topics, right? Yeah. It's about generative AI. It's about building partnerships with other departments and things like that. Those are big themes here. If you look forward to next year, what do you think it's going to be? Well, I think AI will still be a big hot topic. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of developments. We talked about, is there going to be real legislation? Is there going to be litigation? That too, right? Yeah. So what's going to happen? I think that'll be big. I think people will have a sense of how they're using it more personally in their roles too. So yeah. I still feel like that's going to be a big topic. But there will always be an undercurrent of, again, how do we be as strategic as possible in the work we do? And how that evolves, I mean, that evolves, but we always need to think about that. So I feel like, you know, I looking ahead, I still would think it's going to be AI, but I also think just, again, more of a lens on, is it allowing us to be more strategic in how and sharing those stories? Right, right. Well, when you give predictions, everyone should listen, because I think you've got a <laughs> finger on the pulse. Alan, this has been a really, really great conversation. I appreciate you sitting down with us for a few minutes, kind of sharing your thoughts and your insights. No, I appreciate the opportunity. And again, I really think the takeaway for people, experiment with this, have a perspective, and then figure out how you can continue building your knowledge around yeah. this. That, that's again, don't, don't lose the momentum from a conference like this. Keep it going the rest of the year. Yeah, that's really great. Thanks so much. You bet. Thanks for having me again.